Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. We are getting ready to leave Wexford, which was stop one of our winter trilogy, and we're heading down to Mountain Forge Escape in Clonakilty. It's a four hour drive. There is not going to be a lot of road footage. You can skip to here to miss the road footage because it's just, I'll show you basically when we get closer to Clonakilty and as we make our way into Mountain Ford so you can get an idea of the entrance into the motorhome park. He's already, we haven't been fed yet because it's only a quarter past eight. What we're gonna do is make our way, stop at a garage and have a treat of a, a breakfast a wee bit later on. So skip the road footage and the next time we talk to you, we should be at Mountain Forge Escape in Clonakilty. Okay, so we've made it, made it to Mountain Forge. I'm just making my way up to the entrance. First time here, full disclosure, myself and Chris of the Camping Crew podcast were invited down here last year when the site opened. They got two months, then COVID hit. And then of course they reopened again uh, this year around June and they've had a very good year and we were delighted to hear that. I'm gonna turn this camera in now and take you for a walk. Bear in mind, this is a winter trilogy. There is nobody else on site, although I said that last night in the campsite where we were and another van came in. They're not expecting anybody, but let me turn this camera and show you where we are. That's the entrance with the cork flag. As you make your way in, the gravelled entrance, you are greeted by this. The reception area I'm gonna bring you into in just a couple of seconds. That, those units are just storage, but all the bins are here. Now they really, really do push recycling. Okay. You've got your rubbish, your plastic, your cardboard, your paper, your clear glass, green glass, cans, brown glass. It's absolutely brilliant. Reception area, campers kitchen. Now, Connor and Bernadette that own this place and run this place are doing a fabulous job. I said to him, are they old buildings and you just had to redo them? He built these from scratch. I love the doggy station. They can jump up there or you can just put that on the ground. It's just, uh, it's just little things like that. Right, let's take a look into the reception area. So this is where you would come to sign in reception area here. It's all just still, there's like gonna be a little shop in that corner. 
There's going to be a notice board in that corner with all the history of the area. Okay, Charlie, let's go this way. But I thought these buildings had been here for years, but they haven't. They're all brand new. There's an outdoor kitchen area here just for washing, just cold water for washing your Delft, the camper's kitchen. Charlie, this way. But the camper's kitchen is through here. Now, it's 10 euro per person. Um, a van, that's including electricity, by the way. Uh, two adults, two children is 40 euro. Again, recycling bins here. There's a chest freezer there. All this is free. There's no meter for the cooker. There's a cooker and oven. There's two toasters. There's a microwave. There's a kettle. There's a fridge over there. All free. You don't go putting. There's mugs, cutlery, plates, bowls. You don't go putting money into a meter or anything like that. Ladies' toilets. I seldom get to show you toilets, but I'm going to show you these ladies' toilets. They're clean. There's two showers down there. The showers are free. Toilet cubicles there. Four sinks with mirrors, hand dryer, sanitation station. Oh, hang on, Charlie's got me in nuts. Gents' toilets in here. Again, you've got a chart when they're cleaned regularly, and they are cleaned regularly. This place is open all year. Again, you have two showers down there, which are free. Two toilets, and four sinks with mirrors, hand dryer, and sanitation station as well. It's open all year round because the guys live on the property. Can I show you into, I can. Oh, hang on, I want to show you this first. Oh, Charlie, you're all caught up. Just hang on till I untangle my dog. This way, Charlie. There is an invalid toilet and shower. Plenty of space here with a basin, wash hand basin, toilet, big wet room shower. Uh, laundry station still to be finished with a sink and countertop, but there's a washer and a dryer, but I love this. They're close to five beaches, so they've put this. Come here, Charlie. They've put this wet room in here for family showers. There are two showers there. There are two more showers behind this wall, and there are sinks. Just if you want to come in and wash the sand off you without clogging up the actual showers that are outside that are inside a large tent area you know for the big tents i call them little villages well there's pitches here for little villages so let's come in here this way charlie this pod sleeps four has a little kitchen and has a toilet and shower now i've never seen these with toilets and showers so you have a pull out bed which is here you have a double bed there you have a wet room, which is a shower, toilet and sink. And then you have a kitchen with cutlery, crockery. And then there's a fire pit as well, by the way. These pitches here, for the moment, are for oversized tents. There are three of them. There's a fire pit going in just, just down there. It's being built at the moment, but I want to show you this. Let's take a look at the front of it first. The views of the bay are absolutely beautiful. But look at this. You've got your own little deck area, but let's take a look inside. Now, pets are not allowed in the dome, or in Charlie is just for the purpose of showing this place off. Get down off the bed. That's why pets are not allowed in. So, you have a double bed, you have a log burner, you have another bed here. And look at this. I'm just going to sit here and I hope he doesn't jump up. <clears throat> There's a fan in the ceiling that has worked on solar. You have a little tea area, tea making area over there where Charlie is. But wait till you see this. Come here, Charlie. I'm going to turn on the lights. You've got a bathroom. Well, you've got a toilet and a sink, but it's spacious, spacious. And it's very clean. Come on, Charlie. But dogs are not allowed in the pods. 
in that pod or in the dome, I'm afraid to say. But dogs are allowed on site, by the way. It is a dog-friendly site, as you saw by the Wolf Wolf Bowls. Plenty of pitches over here. We're just going to take a walk for tenths. It's a good spin outside Clonakilty. It's a 10-minute spin outside Clonakilty or up the mountains. There is a walkway that brings you down 10 minutes into the, this little village called Airfield. Um, hang on, I'll just turn this camera again. There is a walkway just there behind the chemical toilet that brings you all the way around the fields and then you'll come out. There are football pitches just there. There's a children's playground. These are the tent pitches and they all have power. Depending on the size of your tent. Now, there's a few, they, um, let me correct myself, they don't all have power. There's a few in the middle that don't have power, but mains leads are available. But all along the edge, let me see, it goes up to number 20. That's 20 pitches with power. They all have power. It's only the ones in the center there that don't have power. You can drive in down here. There's all power for these pitches here behind the bee ball. So there's about 25 tent pitches with power. A few of these ones in the middle don't have power. The big ones over there for the oversized tents do have power. I don't know if you can see in the distance, but there's uh, football pitches off there and that's where the walk comes out of. You can see they've been very, very busy. The grass is only starting to grow back now. Um, they asked actually if uh, I wanted to stay in one of the pods tonight that they'd let Charlie stay with me for tonight but I, I want to stay in the b-ball. These are people who have already booked in. They're only open since last year and these people are permanent pitches for the caravans. Plenty of room here to park cars once you uh, park here and then just go in and pitch your tent. Chemical toilet area is that little hut over there fresh water area and grey water disposal as well. It's a bit of a spin outside Clannacilty so if you're camping and you have your car five minute drive to five beautiful beaches to the little village ten minute drive into Clann Clannacilty there's lots to do in Clonakilty between the Model Railway Village. There's pubs, restaurants, shops. There's lots to do. There's tours in the distillery as well in Clonakilty. But if you want to come here and relax, like the way I do, just park the van, plug in, take out your table and chairs, and relax. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you.
So here we are at Mountain Forge Escape. They've got the pod over there. They've got this hexagony cubey thing here. Uh, campus kitchen you've seen, the toilets you've seen, they're spotless. This is a brand new campsite. They got two months last year. They got a brilliant year this year when everything was allowed open. And it's great for motorhomes. You've seen there's caravans here on site already and it's brilliant for tents, including the oversized tents. There's work ongoing. There's a fire pit being built here. There's possibly another one of these going in or another pod going in. There's talks of yurts going in. Uh, things to do, Clonakilty, 10 minute drive downtown. 10 minute walk into Ardfield, the village, which is a private walk, brings you out of the children's playground. Uh, it's a little village with shops, obviously. Five beaches within a five and 10 minute drive from here as well. There are, I believe, absolutely beautiful beaches. And then just relax, just come here, pitch your tent, park your van, park your caravan and take in the silence, relax. Dogs are allowed, but not in the glamping area. They're allowed in your tents. Uh, certain breeds, you know, the restricted breeds, that rule applies here. So please do check if your dog is on the restricted list. The pricing is a bit funny and it's open to change. It's 10 euro a head. Um, so an adult, uh, sorry, a unit with two adults uh, and hook up, it's 20 quid. However, if you have children, I think a, a family of four is, is 35 quid or 40 quid. It's, it's a funny setup, but they're finding their feet. So please do call them. I'll put the details here. Um, give them a buzz. Connor and Bernadette are beautiful hosts. They have a passion for this. They really, really do. They have some fantastic plans. In reception, there's going to be a small general store, a small shop. There's going to be all the leaflets, obviously, for things to do around the area and the history of Ardfield itself. Where I'm sitting now, there's a view of a bay in the sea, and it is just beautiful. You saw from the drone footage, it's a nice size site. It won't be too busy. They're not going to pack tents into that green area, but there is plenty of space. I like the area here for the bigger tents. As I say, kitchen, showers are free. Kitchen is there. You don't have to put money in. You do have to pay for the washers and dryers. Then there's what they're calling the outside area for if you're all sand and you're a bit mucky. There's a dog shower going in over beside where the chemical toilet is because there's a tap there when you make your way back up through the park. This is a beautiful site. It's open all year round. Again, if it's off season, as in November, December, January, and you just want to get away to book the yurt or to book here, just give them a buzz. Again, contact details are here. They'll give you the pricing. They'll let you know the availability. There is talk of putting in more glamping pods at a later date. Stop two on the winter trilogy. We're staying in Clonakilty. Next week's video will be from Desert House. It's literally 20 minutes from here. Less, I believe it's 10 or 15 minutes from here. From me, Aaron, from Charlie, who's over there rolling in the grass. Thank you for joining us for our stop two on our winter trilogy. Until we talk to you again very, very soon. Take care.